Hey, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to quickly change the perspective of objects using the Perspective Warp feature in version CC and later. Before we begin, if you want to know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials, smash that subscribe button and please remember to click like if you like this video. Thank you. Open a photo you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. Go to Edit and Perspective Warp. If you don't see it, make sure you have the latest version of Photoshop CC installed and that your computer has at least 512 megabytes of video RAM. If Perspective Warp is grayed out, go to Preferences and Performance. Make sure that Use Graphics Processor is enabled. Drag a perspective grid box, known as a quad, over one side of the building or object. Each corner has a small white circle, known as a pin. Drag each of the pins to manipulate the shape of the quad, so their edges are parallel to the perspective of the architecture. We can lengthen an edge of a quad by pressing and holding the Shift key as we drag it. It constrains the shape of the plane while lengthening it. Draw another quad over the other side of the building or object. The side of the quad that's closest to the first quad will snap to it when it's close to it. Drag the pins of this quad to align with the perspective of the building or object. If we need more room surrounding our photo, press Ctrl or Command and the minus key on our keyboard. Once the quads are in perspective with our building or object, click the check mark at the top to commit it. Let's zoom back into our photo by pressing Ctrl or Command and the plus key on our keyboard. Double click Perspective Warp to see our quads. In the Warp mode, we can click the following icons for automatic perspective adjustments. However, sometimes the automatic vertical perspective can be wonky, so I like to do this manually by shift-clicking each vertical line. This icon straightens the horizontal lines, and this icon straightens both vertical and horizontal lines. Click this icon to bring back our original perspective. Shift click the center line that connects our quads and press the H key on your keyboard to hide the quads. We'll still see the pins. Drag the bottom or top pin to adjust its perspective. When we're happy with its perspective, click the check mark at the top. Notice we have empty areas along the edges of our photo. We can either crop them off or use Content-Aware Fill to fill in those areas. I prefer Content-Aware Fill so we can see our entire photo. Since it doesn't work on smart objects, we'll make a composite snapshot of our image by first clicking the New Layer icon to make a new layer and pressing Ctrl-Alt-Shift-E on Windows or Command-Option-Shift-E on a Mac. Ctrl or Command click its thumbnail image to select its shape. Go to Select, Modify, and Contract. I'll contract it 6 pixels, but you may want to adjust this amount based on your photo's size and resolution. Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. Go to Edit and Content Aware Fill. On early versions of Photoshop, go to Edit and Fill. When the Fill window appears, pick Content Aware. Then just click OK. Deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Content Aware Fill placed the filled in areas on a separate layer. Merge it with our composite snapshot below it by pressing Ctrl or Command E. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.